Hey everybody, I wanted to make this uh, short little video uh, as a kind of um, as a kind of tribute to the late great Dean Brown, uh, guitar player. Um, Dean and I weren't super close, but we uh, had become friends and had plans on putting a band together. Um, so I got to know him a little bit. But the coolest thing is we got to work on a couple songs together we were writing. And um, I just thought this would be a nice way to demonstrate Dean's genius, uh, especially in his rhythm guitar playing. So. Dean and I were both playing with bands um, that were touring Europe back in the mid-90s, I think it was, maybe early 2000s. Um, he was touring with Marcus Miller, maybe David Sanborn sometimes, and I was touring with uh, Randy Crawford. But we would often run into each other backstage at these festivals, which was half of the fun of doing these festivals is hanging out backstage with the other musicians. But um, we got to recognize each other, and we'd sit there and have a beer and talk. One thing I remember, my first impressions of Dean was how easy he was to make laugh. He would kind of explode into this uncontrollable, childish laughter, which is great, because he, he had a great sense of humor, and he was really easy to make laugh. He was a really great soul that way. But the thing that really made him stand out from other people besides that was how great his guitar playing was. And he was more known as a rhythm guitar player, and I don't really make, want to make that sound like it's a, anything less than what it is. He was a great rhythm guitar, he was a great guitar player. And sometimes his parts were um, pretty instrumental in making the song groove. I mean, you couldn't play those songs unless you played his parts. First hearing him, I think, with like the Brecker Brothers or something on, on the record and just thinking it was great and seeing him live, I realized how intense he was and how into it he was and how fun. So fast forward a few years, we were both teaching at Musicians Institute um, on the same day. So we used to run into each other and hang and we became pretty good friends. We played tennis several times. And then we had the idea that maybe we would try to do a band together. Uh, we made jokes about the name, uh, the Brown Hines band and stuff like that. Um, but uh, the idea was, you know, get together, see if we could come up with a few ideas. So um, I recorded this one song with him, and I um, was just recently reopened it. I got some of his members from his band, Hadrian and Smitty Smith and uh, George Whitty, to play on it. And um, I just thought it was a great example of what Dean could do. And so I thought I would break it apart for you here and let you hear um, how great his rhythm guitar playing was. It was pretty spectacular. This is a shuffle. I remember Dean came over to my house. We put on, we found a drum groove that was kind of right. And, um, uh, and I just turned on the machine and he played one time through, two times through, three times through, and it was, it was done. He had these three great guitar parts. So I'm going to play it for you here. It's not mixed yet, just yet, but you can still probably hear it with my little microphone on my camera. Um, it's a shuffle, and the rhythm guitar parts you hear are all Dean, and the little melody line playing little fills is me. But I'll just play the first part of it, and then we'll like isolate the track so you can hear what he was doing. Um, one, two, three. You can kind of hear his sense of humor in that, right? It's just kind of quirky, the really close um, harmonizing of pentatonic thing there. But the really fascinating part I found about this that I think you guys are going to get a kick out of is uh, when I play his rhythm parts um, isolated. What I'll do, I'll, um, I'll just pull up the drums and one of his guitar parts, and we'll listen to all three of them. Okay, so this is the first part he put down. Uh, this is just Dean with the guitar, and I kind of have a pan to one side, but hopefully you can check it out. Or you can hear it. Um, okay.
Okay, so now I'm going to add the um, second part, which actually comes in about four measures after he starts, but you'll be able to hear this part here. Check this out. Parts. There's another part that comes in here too. So check it out. Just the way it works together like this little MC Escher puzzle, you know, poster. Check it out. And then I'll play the whole thing for you with the whole band again, just about that much of the song. And I plan to maybe, you know, to mix this down and get a better version out there. But it's a really fun song, and it's just, I'm just so glad I got a chance to capture uh, what Dean does. Got the click. It's cool, right? Um, anyway, um, so Dean had given me a couple of his guitars a few weeks after this, and I was going to set it up for him. I'm pretty good at like you know setting the action on guitars and the truss rod and all that kind of stuff. So he said, "Hey man, make me make my guitars play like yours do." So I got his guitars here at home, and uh, the next week I brought it back to him at MI, and he wasn't there. He had um, he had a. Uh, I texted him, he said, yeah, I'm getting some tests run, I haven't had much energy lately, and he said, I'll see you next week, and then the next week, of course, he was in the hospital already by then, and they were, um, they finally diagnosed him with the cancer that he had, which I, you know, I lost several family members and uh, friends, to the same kind of stuff, and I, if, if there's any silver lining at all, is that maybe it, it went kind of fast, you know, and his beautiful wife down in San Diego is wonderful, Ruth, um, but I wish I knew him better. I wish, you know, uh, but I did have the pleasure to play with him and work with him and hang with him enough that we were going to do a band together. And it's uh, sad that it never happened. It's sad that he's gone, you know, but at least who can remember him through his music. Um, and that's kind of what I wanted to share with you guys because uh, he, was, uh, he was great. And I miss him. Um, as Everybody who knew Dean misses him a lot, um, besides being a great guitar player. All right, guys. The late, great Dean Brown.